Right, and the next valedictory is Councillor Jimmy Chen. Katangi te titi, Katangi te kaka, Katangi koa ho, Tehe Mauriola, Ina ibi, Ina mana, Ina leo, Ina zangatinama, Tena koto, Tena koto, Tena tato katoa, Kua koto, Ani haseo, Ni hao, Ne ho, Ni ho, Konichiwa, Namaste, Brindas dias, Talofa lava, Buna, Ayo bowen, Salam, Mabuhai, Saswell ka, Wanakon, Guten Morgen. Uh, Mayor, Her Worship Honorable Nian Dazio, Deputy Mayor Andrew Turner, my fellow councillors, Chief Executive Don Basendale, all the council officers, all the choir church residents, community leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Kira, good morning. Otatahi Choir Church is a great city with the great people as the first generation migrant. Settled in Kwai Church with my wife and two daughters in 1996. I have been an elected member for 15 years, mm -hmm. three years as a community board member in Richmond, Wigan, and 12 years, the first uh, six years in Richmond, Wigan, uh, councillor, and last uh, six years, two times as the Hongbi, the councillors. So I would like to take this opportunity to express my ex sincere appreciation to the people of Otatahi Kwai Church for your long-term support, particular to all my constituents, Hongbi, Richton, and the Hosewell Ward, for trusting me and voting for me uh, as the city councillor. As a local councillor over the past 12 years, I have been involved in many decisions I'm delighted that Te Hapua Hosewell Center, Richton Community Center, Hai Hai Community Center, all has been complete and delivered to the people for all those words. Also now, new Matatiki Hongbi Center project, we are aware, will be open and delivered by October 2023. The other projects, including the Hosewell Jiangxun Road Extension Project, Major cycle route South Express Section 1 from Temperton to High High, Section 2 from High High Hongbi to Quaven Street, the Sakban will be delivered by the end of year and also by the end of next year. As a citywide councillor, the earthquakes, the Po Hill fires, the mosque attacks, and the COVID pandemic have colored the years of my public services. Regarding earthquake recovery, I have worked with the former mayor, Bob Parker, now our mayor, Lian Dazio, and the former and existing councillors focused on emergency response, welfare center set up, share and distribute earthquake information, earthquake repair, rebuild, and the regeneration. <clears throat> so some of the metro the project you are all aware, so I don't want to repeat again. The other one as the chair of council multicultural committee, I have taken a lead to establish a quiet church multicultural strategy. So this is the first major multicultural strategy in New Zealand in partnership with the Mana Finua and has closely monitored its representation as part of our commitment in helping quiet church become a diverse, inclusive, harmonious and social cohesive city. As chair of the Council's International Relations Working Group, for two terms, 2013 to 19, Yanni, he was the, the deputy the chair. We have been taking a lead to establish the international relations policy framework. And this framework was adopted by council in August 2019. This high level strategic framework integrated the resources of all the key stakeholders, focused on the vision that we will engage with our region, nation, and the world to enhance well-being in Otatahi Kwai Church and the grow an international relevant city. Also, as a chair of Canterbury Waste Joint Committee and the Canterbury Regional Landfill Joint Committee, during this term, I have been taking a lead to focus on the vision of Canterbury as a sustainable region, working toward zero waste and a circular economy in response to the Council's climate change strategy 
with ECAN together, they are total 10 councils involved in the Ken Canterbury Waste Joint Committee. So now I particularly would like to acknowledge my fellow council and Gateway. I'm so happy to work with you in several areas. And the first uh, multicultural committee, engagement working uh, group, also climate change working group, as well as we are in the same community board, host your home business community board for six years. I'm very impressed your energy, smiling face, hardworking, care for the young people, as well as care for the diverse community groups. Also, I would like to acknowledge our Deputy Mayor, Andrew Turner, for his uh, leadership, always support our Mayor, the, the end, and also his energy and the precisely thinking. He can pick up the, those key points where we presided. So I admire this. But except the, the, the end, I think uh, Andrew and uh, myself, if we get involved small diverse community the groups, the event and the activities. I think probably you also agree. And also I particularly would like to acknowledge our mayor, her worship, oh, the Lian Dazio, for your the outstanding leadership, experience, skills, hard working, as well as your manner, your particular manner. And I'm also the you know particular to appreciate you to support me to be the chair of multicultural committee and the international relations working group. Give me opportunity can contribute to the people of, of Tataki the Quiet Church. I do appreciate. So the, this is part of my lifelong uh, journey. And the vision of the council strategic framework of Tatahi Kwai Church is a city of opportunity for all. Mm -hmm. We open to new ideas, new people, new ways of doing things, a city where anything is possible. Plus, when we review, we have so many the, uh, the council strategy, like council multicultural strategy, strengthen community strategy, smart strategy, climate change strategy, as well as international relations part of the framework. So we can see our city, the Otatahi Kwai Church, is a diverse, international, innovative, sustainable, and resilient city. We will have a brilliant future. However, this is a changing world, particularly post-COVID pandemic. Community and residents' expectation is far more than before. So we face a bigger challenge in front of us. So I wish the next time council working together as a general team, one team, we can make the happen to provide the high quality of service to the people of Otataki Kwai Church to meet their needs. This is our original thought. This is our commitment, our determined and our uh, promise. By the way, the, uh, this week uh, is uh, New Zealand Chinese uh, Language Week. Also, Yanni told me that it's a Tawana Language Week, but I cannot speak Tawana Week, but I can speak uh, Chinese. But I want to speak a few paragraphs of uh, Ch Chinese language to appreciate all the people of, of Tatahi Kwai Church. 各位亲爱的基督城市民,大家好,非常感谢你们在过去这十五年 对我的大力支持，使我顺利当选基督城区议员三年，以及四议员十二年，替大家服务。虽然十月八号之后我不再担任议员，我还是会以公民身份继续关心基督城，关心市政，使基督城的明天会更好。谢谢大家。Finally, my motto is to give is more blessed than to receive. Thanks God for giving to me an opportunity for serving the people of Otataki Kwai Church over the last 15 years. As I mentioned before, over the past 15 years, I have placed a high priority on the community, sometimes at the expense of my family. So after the 8th of October, I will have more time to be with my family. I also will continue 
to care for the city and the community as a positive citizen. Thank you, Lorela. Tena Koto, Tena Koto, Tena Tato Katoa. Thank you. Uh, Jimmy Chen coming to see me uh, uh, many years ago. Uh, well, we actually often met because he was doing interpreting services for new migrants uh, to the city. And uh, I was a member of parliament and a cabinet minister at different times when, uh, we, um, when Jimmy provided interpreting services for me. Uh, and I remember him saying that he wanted to run for council, and he asked me for some advice. And I said, you've got to door knock. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to introduce, you've got to get your name out there, you've got to meet people. And I'll tell you what, he had a little notebook, and he recorded all of the addresses that he had been door knocking on, and it was thousands, you know, literally thousands of doors that he had knocked on. And um, this isn't the only reason that Jimmy is beloved in his community where he has uh, represented the city. Um, he turns up. He turns up on occasions that matter mm -hmm. to the community. And I think turning up makes a difference, Jimmy Chen. And uh, I admire you, I always have done, uh, for what you have always done for your community. Um, you were born in Taiwan, your parents were from Sichuan, China, uh, and uh, you migrated to Christchurch in 1996. So, yes, I did have to check the date yesterday, but um, you remind us every single uh, citizenship ceremony, because every citizenship ceremony, Jimmy Chen has stood in front to welcome all of the delegates, and we found out last night that we have, um, we have welcomed 10,000 new citizens um, uh, in citizenship ceremonies uh, throughout the time that I've been mayor, so Jimmy's been there longer than I have. Um, and, uh, and on each of those occasions, he um, welcomes people in Te Reo uh, and in the different languages that make up the diversity of the city that Christchurch is today. Um, and I think the most memorable occasion that I will always hold with me was travelling with you to China in 2015 and travelling to Sichuan province, which was the first time that you had been to the province where your family was from. And uh, that was a, an emotional connection for you, but for me being present and hearing what that meant for you, uh, that is something I will always hold dear. Uh, your legacy is the uh, city's multicultural strategy. You can be very proud of the fact that it is the first um, in the whole country. Uh, we're the first city to have a multicultural strategy. Um, and you can be really proud of the role that you played in making that happen, working so closely with the diverse communities um, that make up the um, multicultural aspect of our city. Um, and, uh, and you've talked about what waste management means to you and the different roles that you've played there. Um, but finally, I have to say that as champion for the South West communities, uh, campaigning hard for um, uh, Matatiki uh, Hornby Centre, the new library, customer services and recreation and sports centre, Jimmy Chen, I'm going to say that there is going to be a front row seat mm -hmm. reserved with your name on it for the official opening. Guaranteed, here Absolutely. and now, here, here. agreed to by the Chief Executive. Too right. Um, well done, Jimmy, for your years of remarkable service uh, to our council. Uh, we want you to have a happy retirement with your family. We know that you're putting your family first. But then I found out that you had been elected to your grandson's school board of trustees. <laughs> so I'd like to end by saying congratulations on your continued service to our city. <laughs>
Dixie Mayor Councillor Andrew Turner. 